Okay, like round two of testing. Okay, probably it works this time. Oh goodness. Okay, anyways. Hello. Um Hi, my name's Melon. If you guys are new here, um, if you're not, welcome back. Um, get ready for a honestly, this is gonna be a little chaotic, okay? I have not what is it, live streamed in a while, so I'm a little rusty. Um but we're trying our best, okay? And that's all you can really ask for. So we're going to see how energetic... Oh, sh We're going to see how energetic I am living off of um, this milkshake I got from Bigfoot. Thank you to my best friend, one of them, if you're watching this. Love you. Um, but yeah, I was drinking a milkshake, which gave me a lot of sugar. And I was watching some of my favorite friends stream. And I was like, oh my gosh. Let me see how energetic I could be on stream tonight. So... If you guys didn't know, I'm Midnight with Melon. Why? Because I'm a late night streamer with a little bit of insomnia and a lot of energy at night, depending on what her sugar levels are. So, so anyways, let me just go ahead and um, get started. Honestly, we're working in my Sims game, which I actually haven't played in a little bit old. Um, and the last family I had was this one, which is like the Grey Song Rowan's household. It's all honestly a lot kind of chaotic, but I love this family. I don't know if this is really like the house I want to focus on today, though, because I have another one that I have been neglecting and I've actually built it a bit from scratch. So I kind of want to give it attention, but I'm going to show you guys them first because I think they're so cute. So <sighs> also because I am like a bit of like a um, what is it like? A gameplay simmer. I hope that isn't too loud. I can't really tell if that's too loud for you guys, so I guess let me know. What is this? <laughs> oh, leave me alone. <laughs> I have these mods in, like the Better Exception mod, and honestly, it kind of confuses me like half the time, so I don't know is, if it's helping me or hurting me. Like, <laughs> But I've heard that it does wonders for other people, so I'm just going to believe that like I'm a bit too distracted for that. Especially to fix my Sims problems. You know, we gotta wait till they get serious, so. Oh my gosh, anyways. Family tour, guys. Let me just... We gotta hide the house, okay? We gotta hide it. Also, what are these outfits? Okay, they did not get prepared to be seen. Hold on. They're not ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me change those two. We'll do this one. And then watch them be like, I'm freezing. And like, freaking die from freezing. <laughs> Um, okay, we'll give him this one, you know, custom content out outfits for the win. I actually was going to go custom content shopping before I started this, but then I was like, let me just stream because streaming Loki, it's like fun, but I get a little anxious, especially because sometimes I don't know what to talk about, but so I was like, we gotta, we gotta do, <laughs> what is it? You gotta do what you're afraid of. I don't know. We're going to call this exposure therapy. I wonder if my professor will give me extra credit points for that, you know? Anyways, the family. We're going to start with the girls because those are like the icons, okay? So if you have not seen my YouTube or TikTok, which are linked on my Twitch profile, if you want to check it out. This is um, like, what is it? The third generation of my Rowan's family that I've been playing for literally years. Like, I think I'm only on four generations. I've been playing with this family on and off sporadically for like five years. <laughs> so three generations is like nothing right now but anyways this is isabella grace she just got married this is isabella grace and she is like the mother of um bro i don't know where my children are <laughs> don't worry about it okay she's like one of our ugh, what is this whatever so um whatever let's just start in order so this is aurora McLaughlin. Okay, this is like third generation, firstborn child of the Rowan's legacy, three generations in. Okay, and this is her slightly younger sister, Isabella. Okay, so these two um, were actually living separately. Okay, they were like living their best lives apart, respectfully. Okay, Aurora was out here making besties, you know, having the best college experience. She wants to be a chef, so she was focused on her culinary career. Isabella was like, a whole loner okay living with her like favorite cat whiskey okay living her best life being like a computer science major and just like she was enjoying her solitude okay but life changed aka they went through a lot of different like save files and became new human beings who kind of grew up a little bit 
okay? So, like, now they're both moms <laughs> trying to make it work, okay? So, Aurora over here is actually with um, Avery Song back here. They are... I forget if they're engaged or not, but they have a child together. Her name's Gloria. You'll see her soon. And then Isabella is actually married to Vassal over here. Oh, no. To Vassal, okay? And Vassal's like a fashion photographer. Avery is like a... He's a doctor in training. <laughs> and honestly, um, the original idea was like he's a doctor in training, but Aurora's like a little bit more ahead of her career, just a little bit, so she helps fund like his med school because it's an investment, okay? But yeah, so anyways, Vassal's like a fashion photographer. Um, and yeah, they recently got married. I'm going to be honest, okay? I do have like a little bit of like tea, okay? But we'll come back to it. So anyway... We have our cute little cats over here. So these are both um, Isabella's cats. So this is her long living cat, Whiskey. Okay, Whiskey's adorable. Just a cute little sweetheart. Oh, we love him. We love Whiskey. I forget if Whiskey's a mom or a dad. Oh, what is this? I forget if it's a female or male, but yeah. And then who is this? Oh, Angela. Oh, we rescued Angela. So, okay. So, Vassal and Isabella had a, what is it called? Like, destination wedding. And so, um, yeah. They basically got, is it married? Yeah, they got married in Selva Dorada. And when they did, they adopted Angela because Angela was, like, a stray near the house they were staying at. So, yeah. Anyways, look at our cute little babies, guys. <laughs> They're so cute. I need more infant. What is this? Are they infants? Yeah. I need more infant custom content, so if you have any recommendations, let me know. Oh my gosh, Angela. Okay, and then this is Gloria. So cute. And basically, they're all gonna hopefully grow up together in this house. So I did not build this house, of course. This came with like the what is it? The snowy escape pack. Um, and then I tried decorating it, but I think I may have given up. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's the bare minimum for me. <laughs> It is the bare minimum. I think I just wanted to play with them, so I kind of didn't care to decorate it too, too much. Um, so, yeah, we're actually going to play with them for a little bit. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Okay, first, for any, like, nostalgic Sims 3 summers, okay, I found these cute little cribs that are, like, custom content, and I think they're conversions from The Sims 3, maybe even The Sims 2, and I'm so excited. So, currently, like, the babies do share the same room, so we're going to come put Vaughn up here. And, bro, Avery, why are you here? <laughs> Loving your child. Go to work. Like, your child will be here when you return. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> anyways, we're going to put the kids up here um, to start off with. Why are you already sad? Like, don't kill our vibes like this. Come on, sweetie. Like, you'll make it. You will make... Oh, you're cold. Honestly, why are your kids just laying out here in the cold? Where... Wait. Who pick up... Watch. I love that. Just watch your child freeze. <laughs> okay, that's a little... We're starting a little too negatively, like a little too toxically tonight. Um. But yeah, whiskey... Oh my gosh. Okay, I forget. Can you see, like, their family tree in here? Okay, I think in a different save file, Whiskey has children, but I guess here, they do not, so... I'm sorry, Whiskey. But at the same time, Whiskey didn't very much care for their children anyway, so... Can we, like, please take this baby somewhere? Like, like literally... Wait, I forgot whose room is whose. Um... Oh, okay, this one... Okay, okay, okay. So then, this one is yours, so we can put Vaughn down here. Are you... Are you gonna <laughs> intense infant? Vaughn's an intense infant. These infants have big emotions, aren't easily entertained, but they are also more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. Okay, so Vaughn's just too much. That's what I heard. He's gonna be too much. You're frozen. Your baby's freezing. What is this? Oh, <laughs> she said, "I'll do it myself." She said, I'll do it myself. Okay, for her. Um, love that for her. Love the confidence, honestly. But, oh. Oh my gosh. But anyways, can we please just take, <laughs> can we put her inside? Like, it's the, 
I'm asking the bare minimum, honestly. These cute little mats, let's just put Gloria up here. I just want her out of the cold, please. Oh my gosh. These kids drained me. Oh, cute, we made $30. Yeah, being a doctor really pays, doesn't it? Oh, we reached a milestone. What's that? Gloria started moving her little arms to reach the nearby objects. Now that she can ask for toys and play with the playmate, play whatever. That's thrilling. Okay. Anyways, oh, the tea before we leave this place to like go do what we're actually gonna do, which is build and decorate. Um, the tea is that our sweet, 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 um, Isabella. Okay. So. This is cute, honestly. Like, sisters raising kids together. Feels like a sitcom, don't y'all think? Okay, anyway, so the tea is... Oh my gosh, please. So, Isabella, I'm gonna be honest. She did not want kids, okay? She didn't want kids, and honestly, their child bond was an accident. <laughs> um, but yeah, Isabella did not want children, okay? She, like, at least not right now. She was not ready. She was focused on her career being a computer programming queen, okay? which we support here, girls in STEM, woo, bless. Um, but then basically what happened was she accidentally got pregnant. And so then I was like, oh my gosh, wait, I don't even want kids yet, right? So I was like, okay, we can wait it out. And so I went into MC Command Center, okay? And I was like, we're just gonna pause her pregnancy, okay? We're just gonna pause it for a little bit. Um, and then we'll come back, we'll come back to that, right? And so, okay, you guys can like eat or something, like, not me having to take care of her needs. Like, excuse me, you have a child. You can take care of yourself now. But but anyways, let's hope she doesn't burn down the house. So anyways, I went to go pause her pregnancy, okay? Like, I paused Isabel's pregnancy so she could just focus on her career, be happy, whatever, whatever. But I have this, like, other mod in, which I forget exactly what it's called, but I think it's something like the pregnancy mod or, or like, it's something where, like, you can actually have an opinion. Like, <laughs> you can have an opinion. Um... You can, why can I, why is this being complicated? Do you guys see this? This is stupid. This is dumb. This is whatever. So you see this little thing right here? It says does not want a child right now. Okay. So she had this exact same desire prior where she didn't want children right now. Okay. And basically when I paused the pregnancy, the sim still knew she was pregnant. So she was still upset about her child. So she was having a terrible pregnancy, like emotional. Like she was having like terrible morning sickness. She and Vassal were having to go to therapy. She looked, he wanted to call off their engagement because she was just like, Vassal was out here upset that she wasn't having fun being pregnant. <laughs> and he was like, why aren't you as excited about this as I am? Okay. And she was triggered. And so they were having so many relationship problems. Okay. I'm going to be honest. It was making me a little sad. So I like switched it to be like, she wants a child now. Cause I think you can, like if you click on them, where is it? Yeah, relationships, family, pregnancy, pregnancy and family. And then you can like choose to change their thoughts on having children and being a parent and stuff. And I changed it. Cause I was like, bro, this pregnancy is kind of depressing. <laughs> but then I felt bad. Cause you guys know how like your sim, I wonder if they have it, if any of them have it right now, where they'll have that thing where they're like, Oh, I'm so sad. What is it? Like, they'll have that little, like, midlife crisis or whatever, where they're like, oh, I'm upset <laughs> that, like, it feels like somebody's controlling my life. Because, hello, you're a game. I am controlling your life. But then I felt guilty because Isabella was expressing some real feelings out here that are reflective of real human beings, even though she technically isn't. But she thinks she is. And then I felt really bad. So then I tried to change it back so she could be unhappy about her child. <laughs> but then it's only really about being pregnant so then she was kind of over it when her kid was born and I couldn't really fix it and now I kind of want to break them up because I feel like that's what she would want but her wants don't reflect that yet so I'm not doing that especially because in all of my other save files of them they've been together so I don't want to split them up so now I'm kind of a little bit conflicted and I kind of just moved her in with her sister so they could have more familial vibes and raise her kids together but I feel bad that I didn't let her actually have a choice or decision in the matter you know and I know this kind of like doesn't matter because this is a game and it's like a video game but have you guys seen like I think it's like free man or free city or something with um who is it Ryan Reynolds Blake Lively's husband or whatever and he literally is like an NPC in a game and then he has a whole ex what is it ex existential crisis because he's not a real human being so then I felt extra guilty. Also, that movie is, like, great A quality. So anyways, that was the tea. That was the drama. 
with this particular family. Um, but now we're going to go see if we can be a great equality Bob the Builder or like Mr. Kate Decorator. Because um, I've been working on this one house and we're going to try to fill it in a little bit more. So <sighs> buckle up, guys. We'll see how much of this we actually get done or <laughs> how long we stick to it. Um, but basically, oh my gosh, there is drama in this household too. And it was all on accident. Okay. Like, I feel like I'm like one of the really like traditional Sims players. I've literally played the Sims since I was like six years old. Okay. And like now I'm 22. So like I've been playing for a very, very long time and I've always been, that is so loud. Is that loud for you guys? I feel like it is. I don't know. But I've been like such a traditional Sims player my entire life okay where like i like play like little household family style or whatever so like now when i get drama it's usually on accident <laughs> but honestly it's better than not having drama because i just but i can't i can't do it myself also why is it so bright in here like or is this like her her celebrity glow like what is this can i just how do i turn that off turn off did that do it i think it okay so it <laughs> It's just really bright in here, but like she's literally glowing. Do you see that? She's is that the sun? Like <laughs> what is I don't know what's happening. But anyways, so this is um Violet U. Okay, she does have a twin named Poppy U, who actually is our neighbor. It's so cute. Where is she? She's um I think she's like right over here. Like she's so close by. I built her house already because it was smaller, so it was easier to do. This looks kind of cute and kind of ugly at the same time, but the decorations make me feel better. I think it's just like I didn't know how to make her garden look more chill. Also, I just love that you can look through, like, windows <laughs> in this game. Like, it's, like, honestly a little creepy, but oh, no. Not me pressing things on accident. Please load. Anyways, while we're doing this, let me go ahead and tell you the tea. So anyways, so Violet, right? Violet has all of her children, okay? All of her children are here living in her house with her, okay? So we have Marisol, which, yes, she was inspired by the Cheetah Girls, okay? And then we have Angelo and Gabriel, who are twins. And then we also have twins Kenji and Sachiko. And I think they all have the same parents. Also, this really cute cat, Nightshade had him for years we love him okay literally my favorite i think i think he's my favorite cat in my little sim save or whatever but anyway so in here right we have violet okay and we got all of our babies all of our kids okay and they're all um from like paolo roca who came with the get together pack okay and paolo's fine okay he's like one of my favorite sims like everybody is always over here like akira this akira that and honestly I'm on the same team. Okay, I love Akira too, but Paolo? Man, this boy with his curly hair. Okay, like, Paolo is just... <sighs> Anyways, we can sim for him later. So anyway, Violet and Paolo got together after... Okay, I'll be real though. I'll be real. Her ex, right? Her ex was Akira. So they got together after her and Akira were together. Okay. So her and Akira were together. He gave her confidence. She entered her baddie era and then she left him because she was trying to find herself and they just weren't going in the same direction. Okay. But like, they, they're like pretty good friends. You know, like they've attended each other's. Well, she's attended his wedding. Um, and they're just, like, really supportive friends. Okay, really cute. So, anyways, her and Akira broke up, right? So, then she, like, found herself. She was being an incredible actress. Okay, she's won awards. That's how good she is, okay? She's won awards. So, anyways, also, this is her office. I'm very proud of it right now. Like, I think it's really cute. Oh, what is this? Why are there broken things here? Ugh, you can't have nice things. Also, I think her office is stunning, in my opinion. Um, I got these, like, paintings here. Um, from the gallery so if you want something like this like just look up like custom gallery paintings and I think these were like old-fashioned like horror movie looking things but yeah and look there's a picture of her and Akira super cute here's some of her awards some of her other awards but yeah she's like a like a what is it like a sim tuber actress person I think she's also a musician a little bit um but yeah, anyways, this is her office. I love her office. I think it's so cute. And it's also part of, like, the laundry room. So just pretend like it's soundproof. 
Um, but yeah, so anyway, her and Akira were together, okay? And then they broke up, whatever, whatever. And then she found Paolo, okay? And her and Paolo fell in love, okay? Her and Paolo fell in love. I think they may have been engaged to be married. They started pumping out these babies because, <laughs> you know, they had a very passionate love life, okay? And they were making all these beautiful babies, which honestly, I think their kids are so cute. But I'm biased because these are, like, basically my kids. I don't know. Um, oh, my gosh. Let's go, Kenji. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me show you the front of the house. I built this like a little bit ago and I think I tried to do a, like a builds video on YouTube, but I think my like recording was either way too long or it got corrupted or something. Um, cause I don't think I have the footage anymore, but I was going for like a three story split level craftsman home, which is what this is supposed to be. Let me know if that's what it's giving. Um, but yeah, this is like the front of it. I know it's kind of ugly, but we're still, well, okay, wait, I don't think it's ugly. I think all this foundational part looks great. I'm just still working on like landscaping and stuff. But yeah, this is like the side. I don't know why the side is kind of making me think of like that 70s shows house. Also, I guess we're not going to talk about this random frame poking out. Okay. We're not going to talk about it. I did show it to you because... We like to be transparent here, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, oh, let me put this up. Okay. Oh, actually, why is the lighting making this look kind of immaculate? But anyways, <laughs> let me show you the other side. Hold on. Um, but yeah, so anyway, she was getting with Paolo. They started pumping out their beautiful babies. Okay. Oh, this is actually kind of cute. Like right, right here. Do you guys like that? Is that cute? Is that cute to you? I like it. I don't know what this distances what is that wow i have not played in this world this is i think san sequoia which came with growing together and i just started building in here and trying to play in here a little bit but i haven't played in this world very much right like yet but anyway back to the drama okay back to the drama we're gonna let her do i have um what is it called do i have autonomy i have autonomy on so i don't know why they're just here <laughs> Can we, like, watch a movie? Yeah, let's watch with our kids. But, but what? What is this? Anyways, so back to the drama, back to the tea. Okay, so her and Paolo were pu pumping out these babies. <laughs> and um, they were literally living, like, such a great life, okay? Like, they were engaged to be married. They were so happy together. They had beautiful babies, okay? This is where I'm telling you that I made accidental drama, Okay, so if you guys remember when I clicked on here, right, and I opened up this little family tree. Oh, sorry. I have, like, a filter on, like, the game, um, like, a reshade. Where is... I literally forgot how to change it. Um... Oh, okay, there we go. I just put it on a stream deck, because sometimes I forget the shortcut keys. We'll change it to this temporarily, okay? So, anyways, so, she has her kids together beautiful um but what happened was i accidentally made paolo cheat on her because the save file i'm currently in is like a combination of like a bunch of families and sims and builds and stuff that i've had in other save files of my sims game and so when i merged it all like i said i'm a simp for paolo i love paolo so who else loves Paolo? My other Sims. So Paolo has a ton of children when I finally combine them all into the same save file. So they have their five children together. Okay. But if we go to Paolo, he has these other two kids and he basically has three baby mamas in total. Okay. So basically what ha happened was he cheated on Violet. Okay. And also, the time period kind of doesn't make sense because, again, I merged them all in the same file. So, technically, his first child was Elias or Elias Grace with Liz Grace, who, if Grace sounds familiar, is the sister of Vassal from the McLaughlin family that I showed you, like, a couple minutes ago. Um, but, yeah, so, anyways, she's, like, a single mom raising Elias, and he doesn't even know who his father is, and she doesn't care, okay? Like, does not care. Um, but she's doing great. She has a cute little apartment in the city, and she's just trying to make it big as, like, a fashion designer, open up her, her own boutique, just being a boss woman, okay? Because Paolo just gets to be with a lot of boss women, okay? Because he's fine. And an athlete, even though I'm pretty sure he's still only a mascot, but, like, whatever, you know? So, anyways, 
Hollow and you know Liz get together they don't work out she gets pregnant but she's deciding to do it all by herself because she's a strong and independent woman and also because like Paolo you know he was like a little baby athlete at the time so it just was what it was then that's when he got with um Violet they had all their babies banged them all out (laughs) but then accidentally um we just had to, for the sake of the fact that I merged all my Sims into the same save file, we have to say that he fell out of love with Violet, or basically he fell into greater love with another woman, because now he, he's supposed to have two children, um, but who, but it's only like one because I messed up, but he fell out of love with Violet and fell in love with Becca Bianchi, okay, who is like, this, bro, she's been in my Sims saves for like forever, <laughs> But, um, basically she's like a mommy YouTuber. Like she does like a lot of like motherly content. She's kind of like a baddie. I wanted her to be like, not exactly a hundred baby challenge founder person, but like, I just wanted her to have a ton of kids, but, but like right now they're kind of at a standstill cause she, her, she lives in a mansion and her kids just fill up the mansion right now. Um, but yeah, so anyways, Paolo fell in love with Becca And now they're together, and now they're engaged. If you guys were on my TikTok, you've already seen their wedding photos. But those were, like, just to show you a little bit of a post-pack. It wasn't their official wedding photos. So, yeah. So, anyways, they are now engaged to be married. They have Paolo Jr., um, and they also have Natalia. Oh, I thought it was Natalia. It's just Natalie. (laughs) Natalie and Paolo Jr., um, and now they're happily living together with all of her kids and I think her first baby daddy too it's like a whole thing um but yeah so anyways Bilo was betrayed right and if you think that's tea y'all I messed up again I messed up again okay because um oh it's not in here I messed up again because if you look at her little relationship panel I had her talking to this guy named Takashi right and But again, I guess I thought I was simping for Takashi, who's just a random NPC, and I just, like, gave him, like, a slight makeover. But he was really cute. Um, And they were, like, talking. They were, uh, again, he was being great. He was ready to step up and step in, okay? Like, he was ready to pop the question. They were so close to being engaged. And then I realized that he was talking to another one of my sims, who I love, in a different family okay and it was on accident because I just didn't realize it was the same sim when I was playing in the two different households and so when they found out they both dropped him because we don't stand for that he was a two-timer even though that was my fault and it was an accident he was still a two-timer in the game so then when she found out of course she's like a top level celebrity she can't stand for this embarrassment but also she has you know dignity she has pride so of course she dropped him, dumped him, and he literally moved with them. So he was supposed to come live with her and their really gorgeous new custom built mansion house, craftsman home, whatever. Um, but he lost his chances because he was trying to fool around with more than one woman at a time. So yeah. And honestly, that's just, Violet can't catch a break. I'm gonna be honest. For a second, Violet was over here like, maybe I should have just been with Akira. Like at least I could have had a loyal husband by now. But you know. We're still in the game. We're still here. Um, okay, so our son Angela said, Angela can't stop laughing. That joke Gabriel just told him was way too good. After being dazzled by that marvelous bit of humor, Angela was thinking about jokes and how great they can be for a conversation. That's so reflective for a child, but okay. Is this a moment of realization that Angela likes jokes? I mean, who can say no? He clearly stated for himself that they're essential to conversation. But yeah, so anyways, um, I will say I think Violet has had the most interesting love life out of all the Sims I've ever played with because she keeps actually getting garbage men and it's probably, oof, and it's primarily because I keep forgetting. (laughs) I keep forgetting about them. I keep forgetting that they're garbage men. Also, let me turn this down a little bit. We'll turn it to like, I guess, 51. (laughs) And then let me turn the filter back. I forget which one. I think it was this one. But yeah. So anyways, she's embarrassed. I know. She's embarrassed because I just aired out all of her dirty laundry. Why is she wearing shoes indoors? Is she still? She is still wearing them. I don't know how to, like, personally change that. Like, can I just do... Let's wear slippers indoor, I guess. I don't know. 
Also, I love this little touch. Like, I wish you didn't need this sign to do it, but I love the little touch of being able to, like, decide whether they not whether or not they wear shoes indoors. Especially because, like, I don't. So I'm, like, I'm glad my Sims don't have to either because it's kind of, like, who is wearing shoes inside? I will be honest, though. So I live at my college, right? And when we moved into, like, the apartments, the floors were literally, like, freshly cleaned. Um, like 20 to 30 minutes before we moved in so they weren't fully dry and some of my friends were helping me move in and basically like now my the floors look like super dirty because while they were wet there were dirty shoes going back and forth on the floor to move in like moving boxes and stuff and now the floors kind of look like a little messed up (laughs) and I don't fully know what to do about that so yeah anyways to show you guys some progress inside of the house i guess we can start on this floor so when you like walk into the house right you come all the way up here there's like this split little staircase right so on the first floor over here we have our kitchen i will be honest this little section like this part in particular i don't love but i don't fully know how to fix it right now so i'm going to leave it as is um also somebody needs to come beat this poor cat like give him a chance um but yeah also i got this painting again off the gallery if you want to look up like custom paintings and stuff um but yeah and then some of this woodwork and things like that like these were actually made by violet um she just does as a hobby of crafting things like this and so i decided like i wanted her whole dining set to be the thing she's crafted and that's what kind of inspired the whole kitchen um so yeah so this is like you know a cute little buffet area all the things she's built i love this item what is this is this i want to say it's like a hot pot thing oh my gosh i was right (laughs) praise the lord um yeah so she has that and then of course we have like you know all these extra stuff over here we have like a little like side balcony i don't really know what to do this do with this right now it's kind of like It just has a pot here. I'm not going to pretend like there was a vision. It just has a pot here right now. Um, Anger management. Everybody needs to work on that, especially these drivers, okay, because the road rage needs to chill out. Like, sir. Okay, this is so irrelevant, but I'm just curious, okay? So, I don't know about you guys, but I don't, of course, I don't like road rage, you know? And I work on my anger management, okay? Um, (laughs) Introspectively, but... When I drive and there's somebody who, like, like rushes past me, okay? Like, just freaking, like, stomps on their brakes. Not their brakes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> stomps on their um, gas pedal to, like, zoom past me. And if they, like, cut me off or if they just do something, like, really annoying or if they're going, like, way too fast and it's low-key a danger, kind of a hazard, the way that I make myself feel better is when I see that happen, I'm like, oh, it must be somebody trying to go see the birth of their child, <laughs> Like, I'm like, oh, maybe it's, like, somebody who's literally pregnant right now and they have to drive themselves to the hospital. And, like, they just, of course, don't have time to, like, wait behind you or deal with any of this because they're rushing for the birth of a child. Because what a miracle. That is literally what I have to tell myself to not be super angry at people who act like they don't know how to drive. Because if I don't, then I'm literally over here super upset thinking to myself, they need to take everybody's driver's license back and retest them because clearly they don't know what they're doing anymore. So to not be upset, I just think maybe they're going to see the birth of their child or they're about to go give birth. And that just makes me feel better. So if you need that, there's a tidbit for you. But anyways, <laughs> sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even uh, do a workout, talk it through with someone? i am be honest, I tried working out when I'm upset. I haven't seen it do anything yet. I'm still kind of lazy. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, cool. Increased conflict resolution. Decreased emotional control. You win some, you lose some. But anyways, yeah. So back to the tour. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have a vision for this part right now. It's just, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, look at our child. Oh my gosh. Actually, I just realized, do I even have, like baby chairs in here like do i have i don't have anywhere for a child to eat in here (sighs) oh no not a yawn we gotta sip the milkshake guys i gotta sip my milkshake so i don't know if you guys knew because i didn't know this till tonight but if you have a bigfoot java near you you can ask them 
to make you a milkshake. And you can either have a yogurt base or an ice cream base. So I just got a super chocolatey, um, like, ice cream base milkshake. And it's all right, you know? It's pretty good. Also, unrelated, but also something else I didn't know is when my friend and I went to Big Food tonight, if I remember correctly, okay, do not quote me, but if I remember correctly, I think they said it's like customer appreciation month. I don't know if it's fully a month, okay? I may be remembering wrong, but it's customer appreciation something. And so apparently Bigfoot has coupons where you can get like a buy one, get one free. And so it's like buy a drink, get a drink free um, because they're doing that. And if I remember correctly, I think it's like all month. And if you're lucky... <laughs> You may even get somebody who's like, you don't even need the coupon. I'll just pretend like you gave me a coupon. So, like, I don't know. Take that at your own risk. But that's how I got my milkshake tonight. So, fun fact. Anyways, when I grow up, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. <laughs> what do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm a grown-up? That's a great question to ask. Start practicing your hiding. Get a ninja outfit. So literally as a parent, you have to say, start being sneakier or let me buy you an outfit. <laughs> like, okay, I love the compromise here. I love that. Um, what would I honestly start practicing your hiding? This house is big. <laughs> I hope I find you. Okay. <laughs> I hope we find you, sweetie. But anyways, if you go from the kitchen, he was like, he's walking so confidently. I love that for him. But in here, we just have, like, a little, like, open area. This is really just, like, an in-between. I think I'm going to use this as, like, storage, decor, clutter, or something like that. Um, but you walk through. We have this huge open area in the living room that's kind of literally just used to be, like, a project area. Again, custom paintings from the gallery. And we have this really cute little reading nook um, that I just adore. I needed something to take up space. Um, Violet also is a writer. I don't know if she's written anything. I actually don't remember. But she's an inspiring author. Like, she already owns a bookshop. Stories by you. For you. <laughs> Get it? It's a knee slap right now. Um, but yeah, anyway, she owns a bookshop. I haven't built a darn thing for it yet. But anyways, because of that, I like that she has, like, this little reading nook. Plus, Nightshade needed another place to sit, so. And then we have this cute little corner, which just has, like, you know, more books, more art, art tea our tea set and also some more movie pictures i like to think that they're all movie buffs especially because not only does violet love stories but she's also an actress so i like to think that they bond over watching movies together this is the living room i love this cute little like fake tree branch sculpture thing um and then this is like the only time i really use this super huge tv which i think came with like city living um but yeah of course all of our doormats are cat friendly only um Oh, excuse me. And, oh, this is, okay. This is, of course, not done. This was just to remind me what this room is for. So this is going to be a bathroom. This is going to be a shower. Of course, we're going to change out the appliances. Um, but, yeah. Then out here is, like, one of the hugest parts of our balcony. And I primarily just put, like, what is this? Oh, lemons. Okay, like, lemon trees everywhere. I don't know if you guys have ever watched, um, like, Vogue on youtube but they have this thing where i think it's like 70 to 75 questions with vogue and they'll just ask celebrities a bajillion questions okay and i like went through a phase of watching like so many of those and zendaya had one of course we love queen zendaya here zendaya had one and i think while she was doing it she was like plucking a lemon from a tree in her backyard so i just put lemon trees everywhere because it makes me think of that and it makes me happy but anyways we have a yoga mat out here um then we have like you know her wood sculpting crafting table great our lemon trees won't even grow why can't we be zendaya sands properly i don't know but then we also have this oh okay our rose bushes growing and then this just like wraps around the whole house pretty much um but yeah so that's that and then we'll go downstairs next so downstairs this is where like half of the kids bedrooms are um this is like another bathroom <laughs> really just a toilet in the center of it um this is whose bedroom is this i forget oh i think this is um sachiko's bedroom so sachiko's bedroom is this one these bedrooms are huge but when i finally saw the sizes of the room 
I was so exhausted tweaking the exterior that I refused to change the interior if I had to change the exterior too. So their bedrooms just kind of have to be big now. I'm kind of going for like a cute like teddy bear nighttime theme for her room, which is why I have all of these pictures from the gallery in here too. And then in here, oh my gosh, I love this room. So this is like the only room I have done. It's crazy that he knows this is his bedroom. But yeah, so I think this room is so cute, honestly. This is um, Kenji's bedroom. He's going to bed. Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually so precious. I'm so, I'm so in love. Like, this is so cute. Not him putting himself to bed. He said, mom is never getting over here. Like, this house is too big. But honestly, I'm glad because I don't know... I feel like she should be able to get up here, but there's not a ton of space for her to get up here. But anyways, I actually made this cute little like hideaway getaway thing um, inspired by a TikTok I saw. So yeah, like under here, you probably can't even see it. But under here, oh my gosh, it's so cute. You can see it. So under here, I made like a cute little camping getaway um, that only he can really access because of these little animal double doors. So it's like him and Nightshade can get in here. Um, but yeah, it's a little play area. And then of course more play area. I kind of wanted to go for like a gothic bedroom, which again is inspired by TikTok. Um, but instead of like the Sims one, it was just like a, like a, like a real TikTok. Like it was like this goth couple and they were having a child and they had like this really cute gothic nursery with like this really pretty like Batmobile. Like it was like bats spiraling and it was like a mobile. Um, and it was really cute. And so anyway, I decided, I was like, oh my gosh, I want gothic bedrooms for her kids because she's kind of gothic. Um, I don't know if you can tell or not. I don't even know if I fully know what gothic really entails. But like, if I just put on, um, where is it? Where is it? You know, this suffices. This outfit, she gives gothic vibes, okay? <laughs> Isn't it giving, what's her name? Um, what is her name? Like the mom from Wednesday. <laughs> Morticia Adams, I think. Anyway. So, yeah, this is supposed to be my gothic nursery for our son. I think it's pretty cute. Oh, my gosh. This is a custom content bookshelf. I think it's so precious. Honestly, some days I don't want The Sims 4 to, like, stop, like, making content. But also, I'm kind of ready for them to stop because when they do and, like, they no longer tweak the game. Excuse me. And we have, like, all of the updates. I'm definitely going to get, like, a ton of mods, a ton of custom content, like, whatever's up to speed, whatever's up to par. And I will just, like, live happily with it. Um, but until then, we try to avoid custom content as much as possible. Also, I, like, never use these little carving pumpkins ever. I didn't, I didn't, I was supposed to preserve those. Um, but, yeah, I decided to put them in this room, and I'm going to try to put them throughout the house because I think it's cute. But yeah, also this little like chair stool thing is so cute. The slide is cute. I got to use a lot of items that I pretty much like don't really ever use. So that was exciting. Also, this is like the first build where I'm trying to use like, um, what are these called? Light switches. Sorry guys, it's a little late. You know, we made it past midnight. So <laughs> I'm so happy for us. Oh my gosh, look, it's our child. I think this is Gabriel, right? Am I right or am I wrong? It's Gabriel. Okay, cute. So anyways, oh, right here we have a staircase. Right now we just have pictures of um, our sister. So Violet and Poppy. I was going to say Penny. Violet and Poppy on a trip they went to. And then they also went on a trip. Like it was a little girl's trip with Marisol when she was like the only child. Um, and it was like really cute. Like she twinned with her auntie like in this picture. And it was just really precious. So yeah. And then um, over here we have um oh okay over here we have i think this is yeah this is violet's bedroom <laughs> but angela's sleeping here i guess because maybe he doesn't have a room right now um but yeah we still have another picture of us with our sister that akira actually painted so like paintings like this was from akira um but yeah this will be violet's room and then the baby twins will be down here and then a bathroom and then this is supposed to be like I don't even know what this is going to be. This may be like kind of museum, artsy, like display area. And then she also loves climbing this rock wall. So I have it here. But because it doesn't like fit inside, even though I think these are like higher walls, it doesn't fit inside, which is so annoying. So it's outside. But since it's electronic, it like breaks. So I don't know what to do with that. 
But yeah, so anyways, now going upstairs. This is, like, pretty much the last floor. Um, we have, like, these paintings that I think look really nice, but I don't know if they're going to stay in here. This is... I don't know whose bedroom this is. I think this is, um... Angela's room? Whose room is this? I don't know. Because somebody else has this room. And I think it's... I don't know whose room this is. This may be Gabriel's and this is Angelo's or vice versa. Bro, I don't remember. And then, of course, this room is Marisol's room, which I'm so excited. I think it's so cute. Marisol is one of my favorite of the children. I know you're not allowed to pick, but I'm kind of picking. Um, but yeah, she has some of her childhood pictures here. So like her and her auntie twinning, her and her best friend, and just her like playing, like, you know, her violin. Um, she has her own ensuite, so good for her. This will be a bathroom. Um, this will be a shower, or is this a toilet, and then this is, like, the shower and closet and stuff? And then she also has this little staircase that goes upstairs, because I wanted to give her, like, a little hideout getaway thing. I don't know when I'm going to put it here yet, but it's going to be cool. It's supposed to be kind of like an attic that was, like, turned into, like, a little additional space for her. And then, um, over here, again... I don't remember whose room this is. Um, let me actually see if we can find out what their trait. So he's the social butterfly and he's goofy. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think this is Angelo's room. And then Gabriel is a bookworm. Yeah, and so I went to give him this little like science table for him to practice on. And then this is his room. And like half the kids' rooms is supposed to be gothic and the other half is supposed to be more like, I don't know, just more livelier, I guess. But yeah. We do have a little bit of plants again up here. Um, and then we have like the staircase that leads to this attic. And this is just kind of like going to be the attic that we keep like decorations in and stuff like seasonal decor in. Um, but yeah, so and then we have like a bunch of like little random shaped bathrooms around. Um, and yeah, that's the house so far. So that is where we are at. Okay. That is like the little tour. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and actually like try to build a little bit. I don't know whose room I really want to focus on. I like feel bad that only one of my babies has a room <laughs> like fully done. I kind of think I want to do Marisol's room. Like I think, I think that's what I want to do. So we got to like actually remember who she is. So she's creative, relatable. Okay, cute. An overachiever, of course. And she's goal-oriented. So... Okay. Oh, we can definitely see what we're going to do with that. <laughs> okay, so I know that I have, like, a bunch of random, like... Okay, I said a bunch. This is all I have left. Apparently, that's, like, theirs. So let's actually go ahead and, like drop this off somewhere um where is okay so we've already used the toddler beds so i'm gonna delete those um and we could just revive the ones we need for like sachiko because yeah um let's go ahead and put this is not supposed to look good up here okay this is strictly meant to be cluttered up but also just easier to grab from later when like the holidays actually are coming you know so yeah we kind of just <laughs> drop it off drop it okay cute I think that's that and then we can get rid of these oh wait actually I think I kind of wanted those for sure and then I don't know where to put these things exactly I don't know whose room those are gonna go in so, yes. Now we're going to go back over here. I think she could use these shelves, especially because they kind of tie in with the color, like the dull colors of the rug. This bed, of course, is a joke. So let's kind of find her. I think I wanted to give her a wallpaper, but I think I wanted to figure out what art I think I was going to stick with her first before I gave her the wallpaper. So I kind of like both. I just kind of don't know how to intermix them per se, you know? So, ooh, what's this? 
Oh, this is so cute, and I think it low-key goes with these paintings, like, but this is custom content wallpaper, which is why I think I wasn't rushing to use it, but at the same time, I think it's so cute. I wonder if, like, maybe, maybe this can be, like, a little painting room for her, and then we could put, like, the more, like, abstract ones upstairs, and these are, like, kind of, like, her, her, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna pretend like she painted these, but... Maybe these are like her inspiration and she's like a like a baby art collector. I don't know. Or like maybe we could pretend like she painted this. <laughs> I know what I said, but maybe we could just pretend, you know, like she's that girl. <laughs> and then uh, I think every kid just has one of these. Also, these paint like painting posters or whatever are so expensive. If you buy like if you're on the gallery, okay, and you go to like my library and you go to well, this is how you, like, see them when you save them. But they're always listed as a room, okay? And I just have a ton of paintings. So, like, I have this one by Boo. Um, I have these gaming ones by Mimi. Um, these Sims World paintings, which I haven't checked out all of these yet. I kind of just downloaded them because I wanted options. And then I'll come back to the other. I have this one right now that I'm using in her bedroom. So, if you like this one, go ahead and take it. Um... This I thought was cool. I really, I forget what these are. Oh, these are called a poly pitch, I believe, which is like when you have like individual panels that all go together to make up a complete image. And I literally only know that because for my fiction writing class, I wrote a story that was called that. Um, so yeah, look at that. My degrees teach me something. Here are the ones that I got for Sachiko's nursery. So, you know. Um, I wanted these like really cute nursery pictures, little bears and stuff. Like I think it's so cool that people could do this, and the fact that this isn't considered custom content is crazy spectacular. So you can definitely get these. Like you don't need to download anything special to get them. Um, also, this is so cute. I will say though, I kind of one thing that makes me, I don't know if maybe I'm just not creative enough. Also, I love these by the way. I love these so bad. I want to make an arcade someday, so that's why I have these. Um, but maybe I'm not creative enough, but I just wish that The Sims had, like, more items in their build and buy catalog that were thematic, you know? Like, for instance, we have, like, a couple Freezer Bunny items. I want more. Like, we have a couple Void Critter items. I want more because I want to be able to say, like, my Sims are fans. Like, I want to be able to make a bedroom where they look like an obsessive fan over very, like, niche particular things in The Sims. Like, Lil Simsy had a whole flamingo thing going on. And I want to be able to be, like, they're obsessed with flamingos. Like, they stand the flamingo band. Like, something, you know? So, I wish that was something that, like, they work on. That's one reason why I like these custom pictures a lot. Is because, like, you can definitely be a lot more expressive. Have more color involvement. More, like, photo diversity in general. Just, like, in regards to not using the same paintings over and over again. Um... So, yeah, I highly recommend you guys, like, check these out. You can literally just go on the gallery and, like, look up rooms and then just type in.
this. Oof. Oh, oof. Those are a little uneven. Somebody is probably like a little, like, yes, a little, like, oh. <laughs> um, wait, don't say anything. Is that, is that adequate? I think, I think that's pretty adequate, okay? Um, honestly, okay, I'm over here thinking that this is cooking, this is a slaying. Are you agreeing? Is what I need to know. Are these not the, um, why are these not the same? You know what? I can't be bothered. Let's pretend like that was purposeful. It low-key kind of is because I'm leaving it like that. But I'm a little... Anyways, we're just going to let it go. <laughs> we're going to let it go. Okay, now I want to see these pictures up here. <gasps> yes! That's so precious. Okay, like so cute. So precious. Um, My thing, okay is if I'm like, oh, let me just do multiple of these, okay? And I put like one right here. Okay, wait, let me see where oh. <laughs> Um and then they look like they stand here, right? That's cute, I think. Why is this so big? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. And then they kind of look like they're just sitting there, right? And then we could put like some of our other photos on. And then And then we could decorate those, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So, I want to put like I wish there was like a plant that kind of like, "Oh my gosh, I love these plants." But it kind of looks like a lot. Like a plant that swoops down. Is what I'm looking for. Hmm. Um, kind of like, like this little fall moment, but like, not that one. You know, like I just want one that would actually sit inside, but like swoop to the side like that. Okay, y'all. I know I have this milkshake, but honestly, I'm crashing. Like I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired. Um, like I thought I was cooking with the whole. Let me drink this milkshake and stay lit, y'all. It's only been like an hour, and I'm like. Mm, I can go to bed soon. I could. Like, I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute sometimes, but I could. I could indeed get some sleep. Like, <laughs> but anyways. Mm, okay, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that. Okay. Okay, so I did want to put a vanity over here, though. So, what is vanity under? <laughs> what is vanity under? Mmm. Let me see. I feel like it should be under dresser? Question mark? Or maybe I just have to look it up because I don't remember. Vanity. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's under mirror, actually. Maybe that. Okay, which one looks more like it fits in this room? Is this one a different? Okay, this is a little. <gasps> Wait, this color. This color is kind of. It's kind of cooking for me. This is. It's kind of. Well, okay, but like this one kind of ties in this blue a little bit, which we have nothing to tie in the blue. But now it kind of looks like it contrasts with the bed. This brown ties in with the floor, and I'm kind of on board with the brown. Oof. Oh my gosh, wait, but this brown ties in with, Okay, this is so random, but it ties in with, like, the hair of the painting, you know? I kind of want the light brown, I think. Like, that one. Okay, we're gonna have to find, like, different ways to tie in the blue, I think. But, I like that. Okay. Um... So, we, wait, is this the right chair? Yes, okay. So, let me find a chair that goes with this. Okay, I don't know why. I love this chair. Like, for really random builds, I love this chair. But, oh my gosh, wait, this is... <laughs> okay, this is just too modern to be here, but I love this chair too. Like, what is this for? Is this growing together? Is that what that's for? I can't... I haven't really, like, matched the logos yet, 
also i still haven't bought the horse ranch one but i want it oh my gosh it is growing together bro what is honestly somebody give me a futuristic retirement home or i'll build it myself what is this no okay anyways back to our current dilemma we're trying to find a chair i feel like this matches this table low-key but i don't want that okay well i actually kind of like this one it just bothers me that it looks like a wedding chair but for the right shade i can get over it Ooh, maybe no i use this chair too much maybe this one if we can get it in like the light brown <sighs> no <laughs> Oh, this chair is, like, so cute. Very fancy. Um, what is that? Like, maybe? What is this? Okay. These browns are, like, a little off. I don't know if you guys have seen, but there actually is, like, a color wheel mod. Kind of like the Sims 3 had a color wheel. But I will say, like, I, it's a lot of work to use, and I won't use it for like personally at least not right now but Ooh. I'm sorry it does look kind of promising though if you guys like want to check it out it kind of like applies the color you desire on top of the color of the item you're actually using so you kind of got to use color theory or something to like be able to blend that but it's pretty fascinating okay I love this chair too I don't know why again simplicity and design I just need the right shade of a chair to be here. Like, that is all I'm asking for. Please. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I just need um, something to match this wood tone. That is what I want. Okay, I feel like one of these should match, right? This is ridiculous. Even without a color wheel can I just get like like this dropper but like for color purposes and then just show me every item with this shade like please because I'm like <laughs> wait okay why did this look good like for a second and then not wait <laughs> I may just have to let this be what it is <laughs> like the blue is promising and then okay but then like the shade works kind of with the table but i don't love the way that it like i felt like the other one works so good for the bed frame but like these match now so i think i'm gonna get over that you know like i think i'm gonna accept it for what it is and then if we have yes you need your sunscreen you need your dentures i'm just kidding <laughs> um oh my gosh yes you know everybody's over here getting ready with a water bottle if you're not you're dehydrated i don't know what you're doing she of course needs to have i'm just kidding um let me see i kind of want her to have like the perfume tray <sighs> all of those pumpkin options are crazy oh yeah but like with the mc command center one of the mods i have is like to have your um your G-Bug completely open. This is so cute. I don't think I've seen this item, but I love it. I don't know why, but I love it. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't think she wears glasses, but like we can still put them there, right? Oh, this is cute too. I absolutely love this decor item so much. We're just going to put it over there for now, I guess. But Yeah okay this is so cute these plushies again i only see these on tiktok <gasps> oh my gosh wait wait there should be a blue one yes because we need to tie in more blue in this place oh my gosh stop this is so cute oh my goodness okay i do like these like little flowers um i think that's nice right there's like <laughs> nothing on here. Let me move this. Oh, beautiful. Okay, cute. I like that. Also, I love getting like this book stack. Like this. What? The stack of books. <laughs> That's what I meant. 
I just think it's like, I don't know. It feels relatable. I remember being in high school and college and just having stacks of books that look like that. And then you like literally just kick it all off your bed when you go to bed because it's in the way. But let me put these frames on. Frame. 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 And then let me save it because, yeah. Um, I'm going to be so honest though. Oh my gosh. I didn't know there was a human back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're cool. I've been spotted. My roommate has seen me. Anyways, I'm actually kind of tired and I feel bad because we haven't even finished this bedroom. But like, I'm actually very tired and a bit dehydrated. If you're actually still watching this, please drink your water, kids. Mm. Unrelated note. I'm sorry. We're not finishing this room on stream tonight. Um, I'm going to need to come back and do like more because I'm sorry. I'm dehydrated and a little tired. But I will say that I did want to say ahead of time that, for one, I will be putting these VODs on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Again, all my socials are linked. Um, but on top of that... I just want to thank you guys all so much for, like, literally anyone who watches me or anything or interacts, connects, whatever. Um, just thank you guys. Like, I think it's really sweet. It's really fun. Um, especially because the people who have, like, left, you know, chat messages and stuff in stream have been very kind. So, I thank you guys. Um, and I also want to say thank you guys for helping me get to a hundred, over a hundred subscribers on YouTube. Um, if you're not always so cry please check it out. But if you are, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you follow literally any of my social media, thank you so much. Um, I love you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. It's really just very sweet. Um, so ahead of time, thank you guys. I do plan to do a much better, hopefully more prepared stream to do a proper longer celebratory. Thank you for our hundred subscribers on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, if you guys want to see any of, like, my post packs um, and even a special, like, extra Let's Play, go ahead and check out my TikTok. I'm pretty active there just because it's a bit easier to be active. Um, I kind of take a little bit longer to post on YouTube, um, primarily just because... I don't love editing, <laughs> but if you want to check out my YouTube channel, feel free to do so. If you would like to follow on Twitch, I'm trying to get to 50 followers. I'm trying to get to affiliate primarily just because it's a goal that I set for myself and I think it would be like really nice to achieve. Um, so if you enjoy any of the content, the energy, you know, the conversations, feel free to stick along. Um, but until next time, have a lovely night, get some sleep whenever you happen to go to sleep and I will talk to you all later. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much for all of your kindness. And if literally all you did was just watch my stream, I still appreciate and cherish you because you were willing to devote your time to my chaotic energy. So have a lovely good night. Good night. See you next time. And bye, darling.